Welcome to our recap of episode 39 of Big Brother 17. Oh my god! We're one episode away from the finale. I can't believe it! Alright, so it's day 91, <laughs> and the final three are Steve, Liz, and Vanessa. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so they pop the champagne after they find out they're the final three. Yep, they did a little toast, but Steve refused to drink. There was this much He wouldn't in do it, which is odd because, like, he was in a fraternity, and I know he was saying that he was doing, like, fireball shots. What, you can't drink some champagne? Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> well, they all feel hashtag blessed to be in the final three. Well, they can all go home with Jay-Z then. You won't have to go to jury, though. But you can't stay here. All right. So then uh, they were talking about, you know, who am I going to take to the final two? What's the deal? What's Somebody's still got to be cut here. Somebody's still going to jury. Liz is somewhat dumb, so she trusts Vanessa. And Vanessa and Steve have a little chat. And Vanessa lies to Steve. Yeah, she's like, I have never had a final two deal with Liz. That never. has never come out of my mouth, Steve. Not those exact words in that yeah. exact order. Steve knows she's lying, but you know, deep down, I think he really wants to believe her because he's used to his mommy. Yeah. And Vanessa's, Vanessa's like, like his, his mother mommy. figure in the house. Yeah. So they get a Survivor-style breakfast to mm -hmm. celebrate. Yeah, oh, that beautiful French toast with the fruit and more champagne. Which Steve still refuses to drink, well, even though there's like one bubble in his glass. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, so... I can't believe he was like... I know. <laughs> well, it's all to show the fun moments of this season. There's a lot of filler in this. Yeah, this Guys, is like the recap show. I cannot believe how many puppet show moments were in this recap. I gotta say, we gotta pat ourselves on the back here. Did they I feel like we hit watch all the our main puppet points. shows and then they were just like, oh yeah, we need to... Let's put this scene. Thanks, the Mad Rose D girls did all our work for us. Now we can go home early. All right, well, of course, they had to talk about the twin twist. Liz is a damn twin. Yeah, I don't know. If Davon had not pointed that out, I don't know. It would have taken people a little a little while longer to figure out, I think. they're dumb. Davon has eyes. Yeah. She's probably one of the smarter ones in the house. <laughs> More observant. Yeah. There's thickums and the skinny bitch. One likes to wear the kitty hat. The other one likes... <laughs> Jason, I love you. She wears her glasses all the time. This one works out all day. This one sits around on her ass. Yeah. All right, so let me just say, uh, Vanessa and her high IQ. Then we got to see Vanessa, a montage of Vanessa crying and fighting with people and calling people out. Because of her need to have well thought out reasons. The reason. She's whipping up tears over here. She's whipping up tears over there. Mm -hmm. Boy, did she get pissed when James was like, you're, you're playing, playing too hard. hard. What? Or no, you're playing too hard. Yeah. She was like, what? Don't criticize her. Okay. So next, uh, we got to, to see some of the romance that the happened this season. The blooming romances. There were quite a few. Why, there was a Beauty and the Beast. Liz, Liz and Austin. I have to yeah. say, at the beginning of the season, I never would have expected this duo. No. Never. Polyamorous? She no. does have two girlfriends. Just saying. Uh, James and Meg? Put them in the friend zone. <laughs> James made many, many attempts to get with Meg, and she was just like, nope. Were they real, though? I mean... I mean, I think he was joking around. Yeah. For the most part, but he was into it. Well, you know who wasn't joking around? Steve and Johnny Mac. Ah! He wants to be a doctor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> He's married to medicine. <laughs> that was something new called a nerdmance. Right. Right. Just as real as a romance. Yeah, we know that uh, Steve loves all of his hugs and his, like, physical affection. Very tactile. So Steve loves him very, very Johnny much. Mac, Dr. McGuire, was like, hey, I'm willing to cuddle. Let's do this. And Steve was like, okay. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> Dr. McGuire likes his cuddles, too. He does. All right, what about Clelly? Who could forget Clelly? I'd rather see Claudry. I'm on yes, Team Claudry. Hashtag Team Claudry. All the way. Uh, Shelly is an older divorcee lady. But hey, Clay's into it. Doesn't <laughs> have any kids, so. Yeah, Clay, <laughs> come on. 
Okay. So then we got to hear Becky's story again about how she stopped a train with her face. Uh, I think Becky's a little confused. She's like, eight weeks, no plastic surgery. They sewed your lip back on. <laughs> That's plastic surgery. I think she means more like reconstructive. Okay, but they sewed your lip back on. <laughs> Gave you new teeth. Were they new teeth? Or were she those said her the teeth? top ones broke off. Those might have been her teeth, though. Mm, I don't think so. We're going to have to ask Dr. McGuire about that. Yes. <laughs> uh, Clay, he mumbles. He's a mumble master. He's also a furless bat. <laughs> okay. Uh, Audrey, she's pretty damn brave for she going is. on this show. First transgender really, house guest. She really opened herself up to a lot of criticism. Uh, you know, it's great that she did it to have awareness for other people like her. Mm hmm but she's also a damn troublemaker. Whoa, she really stirred things up when she was in there before the whole blanket, blanket gate. gate. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That blanket gate was one of my favorite parts of the show. Her freaking comic from that one competition is still one of my favorites ever. Yeah. Loved it. James, he is a damn practical joker. That was a fantastic montage of James's best scares. And you know what? He's freaking hilarious. It's not like he's some lame practical joker. He was actually really hilarious. What are you doing? <laughs> it was great. I love my favorite was when Steve came out of the bathroom or when he gave uh, Julia a little tap tap. <laughs> okay. There were many great moments. Yeah. I love when they, they were so scared that they would fall over. <laughs> that was my favorite. Like a narcoleptic goat? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wax streets back. All right. Yeah. Do, uh -huh. do, do, do. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Who was the best? They all had some decent moves. They did. I don't know. I liked when they changed up the endings, which we didn't get to see in this clip, but yeah. they would like pick up Jason or like whatever. <laughs> well, you know what? It lived on because Johnny Mac really liked that chin strap. He's feeling and it. He continued with it for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. Good for him. All right, the diary room. It was a real... This was my favorite was part of the show. a real playpen. Everybody was crying in there. We got to see some stuff that we haven't seen yet. A little bit of behind the scenes in the diary room. Mm hmm I thought it was very enjoyable to watch. <laughs> Is that sick? Yes. I like the rawness that we got to see. Yeah. You know, in the diary rooms the last few years, it's a lot of, you know, scripted stuff that they yeah. feed to them. Yeah. This was raw, and I loved it. Yeah. I have to agree. How about that food fight, though? I hadn't seen that before. I know you have. Yeah, but I hadn't it was on seen the feeds, it. but it hasn't been on the show yet, and it was hilarious. Liz was sick of Austin's marinated bland ass. She's chicken. tired of the bland ass chicken. <laughs> Why are you being a bitch? Why are you being a bitch? <laughs> it was great. Oh my god! So he threw vegetables, like zucchini or something. Yeah, but why was it red? A tomato. But did she put ketchup in it, or he wanted her to put ketchup in it? I think he wanted her to put ketchup in it. Well, Dr. McGuire said, you got some stuff on your boob. Yeah. <laughs> Food fight! It was great. That was great. All right, so the end of the episode was the beginning of, of the, the final, final HOH. Of the first part of the final HOH. Right. Uh, how about Dem Apples? It was a carnival theme. It kind of made me want popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> they had to ride these candy apples as they dipped into some carny blood. No! And then whoosh, slammed them into the mouth. They were really on slamming the wall. them. They really did. You know, I have to say, on this show, it's amazing that these people don't end up with broken... Uh, I know! How do more people not get seriously injured? I know. Blows my mind. All right, so they left us hanging, but if you want to know the results, make sure you watch Just her watch spoilers. spoilers. They're Emmy Award winning. No, they're not. <laughs> All right, so the final show is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It's 90 minutes long. Buckle up. Better come early, though, because you're going to want to watch the Survivor premiere, yes. which we'll also be covering. So let us know in the comments who you're rooting for to win this whole thing. And until Wednesday... Much, Much love. love. Edit. Edit.